Hi, I'm David Peterson, creator of MouseGuard, here with another MouseGuard architectural model. This time, it's Gwendolyn's office. This is one of the earlier models that I made for MouseGuard back when I was working on Fall 1152. Uh, the original one from Fall 1152 kind of bit the dust. I don't make these out of the best materials, or at least I didn't. Um, and this is version 2.0, which I made during the winter book. Um, it's kind of a recreation of, of Gwendolyn's office as I had drawn it. Um, I made sure that the roof was removable, and even this version is starting to show its age and needs to get reconstructed. But it's made out of mat board and chipboard. Chipboard's what the uh, back of sketch pads and Bristol pads are made out of uh, to do the roof trussing. I had drawn the roof uh, or the ceiling of this room from two different angles and had realized I had two very different roofing styles or ceiling styles when I had drawn them and had to come up with a a way to make a straight plank meet up with a uh, trust um, rigging for the ceiling. But the whole room is kind of this this uh, elongated octagonal. Uh, a couple years ago I ended up making a separate wall that would be the bookcases that are on this end of the uh, of the office. Now this office is made of of, like I said, chipboard and cardboard. Um, I made a little table um, to help me keep track of where characters are, how wide the table is in relation to the windows. Um, down at this end is an interesting feature uh, which came about as I was writing the sixth chapter of Fall, which is the portrait door. Um, the printout here is actually of Jeremy Bastian's drawing of Kellanaw that was the pinup for that issue. And I put this on a pivot so that I could draw that artwork at any given angle depending on how the revolving portrait door was, was oriented. Um, but the construction of this is very simple. It's cardboard, it's mat board, it's chipboard, glued and taped together. You can see it's, uh, it's really seen better days. It's had to have all kinds of extra pieces added in for reinforcement. Um, but it's made in such a way that I can take the roof off, put the roof back on, take the side wall off, put the side wall back on, and get a pretty good idea of what the size of this room is and where the characters are on the inside. Making models like this really helped me not only to um, draw the scenes, um, but also to figure out what the room should look like, um, where the details should go, and how they should be in proportion to one another. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, there are more mouse guard videos in the playlist about the architectural models that I build for illustrating, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.